Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're working on a natural gas outdoor heater. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So let's see what we got here. I know that this system runs on 24 volts as I can see here and you can also see on the diagram and what they did here I know in the past that they put one transformer for both these units and both these are gone so there's my suspicion this works off a light switch the light um, a regular switch it actually energizes a transformer and that sends 24 volts here and that's why we have nothing, we have no coal, nothing at all. So there's no voltage here. We don't have 24 volts, we lost it. So I need to find that transformer. The engineer said there's one transformer for both these units and it's somewhere in the ceiling. So let's go find that. So transformer is in this ceiling, he said. Oh man, what a mess in here. Oh, that's the transformer right here. All right, let's test this thing. So there's our transformer. It's 40 VA, that seems super undersized. So we have 120 volt primary and it's 24 volt secondary. This side is our 24 volts. And this side's gonna be our 120. They are color coded, so going on over here so power comes in here power comes here's our neutral and this is our hotline oh wait no this is our hotline and this is our neutral So let's see if we have 120 over there. Need the two volts. Right there, I hope you guys can see. We have 123 volts. So we got our 120. So the switch is working and it's sending the voltage across. So we know that's good. Let's close this up. I don't want to short anything out. And the other wire nut is gone. <laughs> so, so we got our 120 coming in. Let's see if we have 24 volts coming out. Nothing. So we have 120 coming in and there's nothing coming out. So this transformer is bad. Sometimes they have a breaker safety like reset on it. This one doesn't. Sometimes they have fuses. So oh, here's that gap. <laughs> so this transformer is faulty. I'm gonna shut down the power. I'm gonna replace it. But I don't like how there's one transformer for two of those units. So. What I'm gonna do is just step it up. I'm gonna step it up with a larger VA. I think I have a 75 VA in my truck with a resettable uh, uh, secondary, which is perfect. This one has no safeties. So it just works off this switch. This energizes the transformer and it sends 24 volts out to our unit. So this is our controller. We're gonna turn the power off. I'm gonna grab a transformer from the truck and install it. All right, so here's a brand new transformer. It's actually universal. Your primary can be 120, 208, 240, or 480, and our secondary is 24. The output VA rating is 75. This one is 40, so we step it up. And over here, for the low side, we have a 3.2 amp breaker, so if it ever trips, you could actually reset it instead of it going bad. So let's get this all configured. And this, you know, nothing here is code, honestly. 
and I, I just gotta get this done. I think I'm just gonna mount it right in that box for now. This this should be in an enclosure, but I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. Look at this place. So let's just get this done and get that thing to work. This will just like spun on in there. This is our secondary. All right, so we got a ground, neutral, and a hotline. So there's a ground here. I guess we can connect that ground as well. Let's just figure out where I can mount this thing. All right, so this is what it is, what it is right now. So let's mount that in there and call it a day. All right, so here's our primary and here's our secondary. This is just 24 volts, but we have a bunch of wires here. We're using 120, so we're gonna, so the common is white and 120 is black. Common is white, 120 is black. So these three other wires, I'm just gonna cut them and cap them with small wire knots. Hopefully I have enough for each of them or just tape them off so we don't have any feedbacks. So let's get rid of these. And then this is all we're gonna use for our 120. And here, of course, is our 24. All right, so I capped off each lead, put a wire nut on them, taped that, and just isolated these just to put them away to make things a little more clear. So we're gonna strip back our wires and we're gonna connect our primary and secondary because now we are ready to go. This tool is so good. It strips wire so fast and easy. This is the Knipex. And this thing, these linesmen are awesome. They also have these crimpers. These are perfect. So lightweight and it's just super comfortable. Let's get this configured. All right, so here's our secondary. Here is our primary. I saw now I'm connected. I'm gonna flip the switch and we're gonna check for primary voltage and see if we get our 24 volts. Okay, so our secondary actually tripped. Reset it, and it tripped again. Okay. So something's messing this up. By it tripping, we know we got the voltage. But there's something on the secondary line that's making this trip. But we, you know, we have two units. What I'm gonna do is process of elimination I'm gonna disconnect one of them, run it, see if it trips or not, and um, see what it is. All right, so here's our low voltage coming in. As you can see, we have three wires on each. I'm gonna disconnect one of the heaters. All right, so I just disconnected this heater. They said this one was working last, so Let's flip the switch and see if we have our 24 volts and if anything starts here. All right, guys, so that thing tripped. I disconnected everything, all the wires coming in, and I reset it and it tripped again. It could be a short on the, on the wires coming into this heater, or there was a bunch of wires on that primary, but it's the secondary that's tripping. If that if that thing is tripping and nothing is connected to it, it's gotta be a short on that line. It just trips right away. So everything was disconnected right now. And it trips. I'm gonna disconnect the low the whole low voltage side. This trips, then I don't know. All the wires are disconnected. It has to be the lines coming in. But let me just see if this trips like this. It doesn't trip. Okay, so I just figured it out. So I disconnected all the wires leading up to the two units. So this trips while it's not even connected to any of the units. So that's telling me there's a short in these lines. 
somewhere there's a short and from here up to the units as far as the units themselves they could have issues as well but I cannot know until I get my 24 volts over there so the issue is from here to those units hopefully I can see something here right now but if not I'm gonna say these lines gotta be replaced and come on look at this this looks like these wires are so small this this this, this, this can't be right this cannot be right so it only trips when these wires are connected. Got a short, low voltage short. Just tracing out these wires and look what I found. Right here. Burnt wires, burnt wires, gotcha. There's our low voltage short. That is amazing without having to, you know, run old new wires. This is a miracle. Let's see what happens when I repair these wires. All right, so I just shut off the power, but regardless, this thing kept tripping. Um, if we look here, it looks like this actually went on fire over here and got charred. That's scary. You can see that the positioning of these two units are different. This one's facing more down. This one's facing more up. Uh, it might be has something to do with that or this thing had like a fire back. <sighs> but regardless, these wires need to be tucked in back there. They were just sitting just like that. So let's repair these wires and get this back up. Start right there. All right, so I still have everything disconnected. Coming from the transformer is gonna lead in here. So I don't want it, cause there could be other shorts here, but right now I'm gonna turn on the power and let's see if we have our steady 24 volts. All right. Fix these two wires, splice them. Tell me we got 24 volts, baby. Right there. See that? We got 26.3 volts. We got our 24 volts. It's steady. That means our transformer didn't trip. This was the problem. I still have these wires disconnected. So I'm going to connect these units and flip the switch again, see if it starts. And we should be all right from here. The wires are now paired. I tucked them away back there. Everything is now wired. Let's flip the switch and see what happens. All right. So you guys can see the little blue flame. This thing is all getting hot. This is great. Got heat in this one. Let's see what's going on with the other. All right, we got a pilot on the other side too. This whole thing is getting hot. So this one is good and that one is good. So we had a bad transformer and that was caused by a low voltage short and the low voltage short was caused by those burnt wires. If anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.